So let's look at what you have on the facilitator screen. For this tour of the screen, I've chosen ALSI Welcome as the scenario. And what I'm going to do is just basically start scenario. And I'm going to turn on the student iPad. As you can see on the student iPad, it's pretty much a blank screen. But let's have a look at how we can make this different. If we start off on the facilitator screen with this first left-hand column, you can see I can scroll up and down here with various, and these are various boxes which we call quick picks. And these can do many different functions, and we'll look into those a bit later on. If we look at the central part of the screen, there's lots of sliders here. And this is how you can control things on the fly. By tapping on one of these gray boxes, you can make things appear on the screen. So for instance, I've just put the ECG trace on. By tapping on another one, such as SPO2, I can make the saturation trace come on. I can alter these numbers by changing the, by moving the sliders up and down. So I can move the heart rate up. And when I do that, I need to press go. So now I've made the heart go very fast. To bring the heart down, I can just move the slider down. But I can also do this by trending. So in this, these bottom uh, controls here, I can put that trend over, say, 20 seconds and then press go. And what will happen now is that heart rate will come back down to 76 beats per minute, but it will do it over 20 seconds, as you can see happening there. What I can also do with the sliders is change what it looks like on the screen. So you do that by pressing the image. When I press on the image, a menu appears of all different types of waveforms. And you can see, as I go through each of these, there's many different types. I'm going to pick sinus with ST depression. And when I do that, I have to press go. And now you can see that the waveform has changed. And that's the same for all of these boxes along the top. For the invasive blood pressure, there's many different choices there. For pulse oximetry, there's different ones, and the, same, and the same for CO2 as well. Another part of the screen is important is the monitor, is this current mode button here. I tap on that, and this changes what the student screen looks like. So most commonly, people may choose the defibrillator. And now you can see on the student screen that we have a whole uh, column of buttons which appear to make it look like a defibrillator. Alternatively, we could choose basic numerics, which makes it look more like a ward-based monitor. There's also basic wave, which has a basic waveform at the bottom, which you can tap through. And finally, you can go to an AED mode. So let's go back to monitor mode. Down this side, you can see there's a number of different functions. The top will show a clock and elapsed time. There's student view, which shows you what's happening on the student screen, screen but you can look at that re remotely. There's tools, which are, which are four quite useful functions. One is send BP, start NIBP, enable logging, and pause scenario. I'm going to send NIBP. You tap on that, and you can send the blood pressure over onto the student screen. These are the custom numerics, and by Activating that, you will see that the CVP number has appeared, and you can alter those numbers by changing them and pressing Go. These two buttons here are PEA and CPR. PEA will actually move all of the sliders down to zero, apart from the heart rate, to simulate a pulseless electrical activity, and CPR will give CPR artifact, as you can see on the screen. This goes to a default rate of 110. And you, as you can see, it flashes here, so it's telling you that CPR mode is active. To deactivate it, you tap on CPR again. You've already looked at the trend buttons, as we've seen here. And we've also got virtual time to speed through time if you were going to do two minutes of CPR and you wanted to move through it. If we come all the way back to the beginning, you've got a battery indicator here, 
uh, Wi-Fi connected I indicator here. The scenario button will show you all the options for changing scenarios and exiting to the menu, pausing scenarios and resetting them. There's a whole sounds menu that appears here as well. And options let you do some very bespoke changing of what you can hide and show on the screen. Plus it's got end tidal CO2 and temperature unit changing. And also you can change the pace of threshold and shock default. So that gives you an idea of what you can do on the facilitator screen.